Hello YouTube, this is Imperial Fist back with another video and just just for camera slightly. Um and this is what's coming up in August in the White Dwarf for um for Games Workshop. So in White Dwarf they are releasing Lizard Men. Now I'm gonna show you some pictures that I've managed to find. Um I'll often give you a heads up so then you can uh, if you need to pre-order or if you just want to have a look and interested and see what else is in the White Dwarf and some more rumours um, which aren't really rumours because everything which come, which everything they've said in the last year which I found out has been true and uh, the schedule of the release dates have been correct and um, what they've released is perfect maybe just the months have been out by one, but that's it. So I'm going to give you a bit of heads up on what we're expecting. So just to go through what we've got this uh, this coming month, just coming out, and White Dwarf is available on Saturday, so you can always go out. I know I'll be picking one up, hopefully. Um, start off with Lisbon. I'm going to cycle you through several pictures. Um, sorry, some of the pictures aren't particularly good, but that's just because somebody else has taken mine save them because I don't have a white dwarf yet but uh, here we go so um, what you're looking at to start off with um, and I'm going to cycle they're not in an order these photos um, this a slideshow is uh, a bastalodon bastalodon something like that you know it's a li lizard of some kind um, so it, this is this is um, this is it here there's several photos I'll go through um, in a minute, uh, it is crewed by skinks, as you can see. You've got the skinks up, up here, um, and this is one of the. Uh, this is a multi-part plastic kit, so it's really versatile. And um, what you can see coming out of it are in fact snakes. Now this this particular blastodon, blastilodon, not really sure how you say it. Sorry, guys. Um, is you can have two configurations if it's a multi-part plastic kit it can be in the configuration of a solar engine which is like an Aztec super weapon crystal thing which looks awesome um, or you can have it as the Arca Sotec which is what it is there and um, apparently it's some, somehow super heated and then the snakes burst out and attack people apparently that's what they're talking about but we'll have to wait so that's the first multi-part plastic kit and here's another picture of it Stinks hanging out, lovely eye eye there um, it looks really good, I don't know how people are going to paint that one um, but definitely these kits are looking fantastic this is the Aztec Super Weapon Crystal so it's the same sort of model um, except on, off the side you've got some skinks and you've got the Aztec Super Weapon Crystal in the back you can see something which uh, we're going to be looking at in a second. So uh, I have no idea in price at the moment on these, but I expect that's going to be in the thirty, around about thirty pound. Here's another. Um, if I just read off the side, because if you can't, uh, looks like device is a hand-shaped switch into which the skink operator has placed his own hand. Uh, for brilliant little detail and one that sums up the tragedy of the lizard men. I don't have any clue. Whereas the solar engine appears to be a technological marvel of the old ones. Um, so it's also cut off at the page, but it's just an idea. And that's the top of it. I wonder if you can see it that well. Um, that's better. That's better. So here we go. That's another picture of you got your Aztec super weapon. Let me just this round. I didn't really know how, how this is going to look. So, um, let me just move this. There we go. So, there we go. Now, here we have a very, very nice looking kit here, which is. Where have I left my notes? Yeah. It's a Carnosaur model. Uh, so as I circle through, I'll show you some more photos in a minute. Um, it's a multi-part part plastic kit. Um, so the Carnosaur is basically like um, a uh, the T-Rex of the Lizard Men. So um, 
you can model it with an, an old blood, which is, in the old rules, or current rules, um, it is a lord, a Saurus lord, um, on a castle. Or you can model it with a Scar veteran, which at the moment is a hero. I think Games Watch are probably trying to capitalise on, I don't, we don't care about big models and overpowered things. We just want every unit to be able to have this. So they, you could have in, theoretically, your army you could have four of these at the moment. Um, so I think Games Workshop are just trying to capitalise and let's sell as many of these, of these as we can. And you can have Croc Gar, which I think is the one you can see on, on there now. Yeah, on that one. And he's a legendary Saurus warrior who's awesome. He's okay. He's as of all these sort of special characters, it's very easy to just make one up out of the basic stuff and you can tailor him to your specific needs. Um, but he's quite good. Um, multi part plastic kit, lots of talk about this. This is another one with Croc Gar on it. Croc. 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 Something like that. Um, if you struggle with Elizabeth names or any good names, just like this video, let me know. Um, so there it is. This is apparently a very big kit, and then you've got two different ones. Ah, and um, on the left, it's the same model, but just a different configuration. It's a multi-part plastic kit, and this is uh, called a Trogolon. Trogolon. Uh, Trogolondon. Troglodon. A Troglodon. <laughs> don't make names easy with a skink oracle on it so you can see here it's a skink oracle now apparently this one has got uh, I'm sure this one has two heads but this one has got two heads and one's got acid spitting out of it and they're not particularly nice looking heads but um, very gruesome and if you just look at those claws they're absolutely massive um, but uh, that's um, a wee beastie these, these two so um, it's going to be interesting. Wonder if you can uh, model you, these these guys up here. If you modelled this one, if you can model these as uh, on foot, it's going to be interesting to see. Um, and here's another picture of it. it it's sort of like a um, way I see it is a stegos not stegosaurus. Um, that big meat eater of a massive spinosaurus. And so it looks very much like that. Really nice and you've got uh, one of the uh, blasted thingies um, and here's another picture of it it's a very large I've heard that it's something like 8, eight inches 8 inches so here we go into our first of the special characters uh, it's probably by the look of model my least favourite model wise but this is uh, Gore, Gore Rock um, this guy suits close combat uh, he's an albino, so in the list of men, albinos are uh, supposed to be marked by the gods. So uh, this one's uh, very good, very good at close combat. He's a reasonable special character. And here's another picture of him. If you look at the size comparison, that's a corn juggernaut with a chaos lord on it, so he's pretty big. And then, this is probably one of the nicest things, I think. Um, this is This is a plastic... Um, skink, if I tilt down a bit, so he's on a base. This is uh, one of the very popular sort of plastic hero kits, and it's, um, it's high skink priest. Oh, it's skink high priest. So, uh, so lots of feathers, and that's going to be very interesting to paint. Um, I'm not a great fan of feathers. I think in the net, this sort of lizard men release, they're very keen on feathers, but I'm more on sort of bones and that sort of thing. But uh, I think it'll be interesting to paint. I'd definitely like to get that one. He looks, he looks very impressive, especially with the hand outstretched. So um, then we've also got another. This one is in fine classes. He is called uh, Tetsuo Iko. And uh, he's effectively on a palaquin. Um, and he floats across the battlefield. And he's just pretty easy. I think he's a level 3 in the rules now. Um, and he's very, just very good at um, things like Comet of Cassandora, all from the Law of Heaven's magic. And as you can see, loads of feathers. I, I prefer the Slam model with the uh, spikes. 
I'm going to come on to that in a minute. And there's another photo of Skink Priest surrounded by a new model. And there. This is very revealing that they aren't actually changing uh, any of the Saurus Warriors in updates in the future because they're all recent. I've never seen this paint job before. So these have been painted by the studio and they wouldn't have bothered if they are going to change the Saurus Warriors. So Saurus Warriors are here to stay, which is good because I've got lots and I quite like the model. Some people don't because they're all thin and sort of. I don't think they look very strong, but I think really good. Of course, you've got Temple Guard, which we've done in the last update, and they're fantastic. I need to get some of these. And then we've got our next special character, and as you can see, see this is uh, it, he is on a pterodon. If you know this man, they have pterodons, um, and he is. Let me see. Diclaquitis. Toe or something. He, he, you can in in, um, in this box set which I'm about to explain. You can model. This is really nice. You can model um, either a skink chief or um, or this dude who's a special hero, special character. Um, I'll move on. And this is the box set. So um, in this new box set, so you can make the rider to be Tequita Toe or whatever that guy was, just past or a skink chief. And uh, then I think there, I think Titi Coco or whatever his name is, has to be on a pterodon. But then we have a new kit, so we've got multi part plastic kit, lizard men pterodons, and ripper dactyl riders, which is the one where you can see here the orange one, which looks very nice. Um, bit of an odd face. But, you know, um, so you get three models in a kit. I've heard you, and you can upgrade one to be your Takito or whatever your skin chief. And it's a multi-part plastic kit. Uh, looking at photos, I can't really see how this can be, how it's really a multi-part plastic kit, because it looks nothing. It looks nothing like this one. But I really do like the thing we're carrying, and because that's I think they drop stones or something. It's a rule, but they may be dropping something else. Really nice, looks like a pterodactyl. Um, really nice model, I think. Good change. And these are just some blurry pictures, sadly, of the ones I could find. Um, I've set up your white dwarf. And these are some more models, no, uh, photos of uh, the pterodon riders. So they look really good. Might look, uh, look like good improvement. I didn't think they were going to change this kit because in the last update um, they gave them sort of newish kits but I think obviously we weren't happy if they wanted to bring out another flying unit they're very keen on flyers at the moment for all this sort of high elf sort of that you saw all these flying phoenixes and I think we're back to the start so um, uh, is there anything I haven't mentioned no so that, that's what's coming out in August that is confirmed absolutely confirmed you can check it out um, in your white dwarf on Friday I'm just going to cycle through these now uh, as I talk um, so that that's fantastic and I think it's a good selection of models big models, I, I thought there was going to be some big dinosaur models and they haven't let me down I thought there was going to be at least one, I thought they would do some sort of something like for Carnosaur so um, I think that's that's good what I would I thought would happen would be they'd bring out a new Slam Mage Priest model because that's definitely that's been around for two thing uh, two times. That may be something to bring out in the future, but I'm a bit disappointed that they haven't brought one out because you can now either buy the Bone version, which is oh God, I can't remember his name because I hate the idea of a bony Slam Mage Priest and he's not that good. You can either buy the bony one as a Relic Priest or you can buy the normal one and they're set. You can't change them in any way, they're just a toad. So, if I wanted to get another one of mine, uh, I'll be just have the same model. So, I'm very disappointed they haven't changed that, especially after they've got lots of different skin priests. Uh, and it's not, it would, would have, it's fine just to convert a skink or something. Um, apparently, this carnosaur model uh, even dwarfs a stegodon. See, so if you go back and look at my videos, I've shown my two stegodons, uh, so you can go back have have a look at that. And they are the carnosaur model is apparently bigger than that, dwarfs it apparently. Um, also, uh, 
I thought it was good that we've got another rare choice. Um, I thought it'd be nice to have another form of infantry because it always seems to be a bit of a block of sores. Um, but it's okay. I thought um, they would be. A d I thought there would be a different version of a croxagore, which, if you don't know what lizardmen are, um, a croxagore is just a. It's a, it's a larger cousin of the saurus, which is your frontline infantry. And these guys are big, and I thought there'd be a different version of that. Perhaps with spears or shields or something. Model it more like an O or so then you can choose its weapons like the Ogre Kingdoms. I thought they would just do a unit like that, but obviously not. Um, which I thought would have been nice. I thought, yeah, another infantry unit, a reasonable infantry unit. Um, and they could have redone the hunting packs uh, into plastic, but hey ho, can't do everything. Uh, so, yeah. I think the big, biggest disappointment is for haven't done Slammage Priest, but a fantastic load of models here, and uh, I'm sure we'll see lots of people building them. I definitely will be looking at getting one or two, um, especially Carnosaur, that looks very good, and for Blasted Don or whatever it's called. And now I'm just going to shut the lens for a sec as I just switch things. I'm just going to talk very quickly because I can see my time is actually running out of the amount of filming. Uh, on 40k rumours. Okay, so um, if you can see this, I made it, I'll just be reading this out. Uh, Space Marines are going to be probably coming out at the end of this year. There's lots of rumours about them, and um, just got some quick things to add, uh, just to let you know if you haven't heard anything. Uh, Codex, the new Codex is not Ultramarines heavy, it'll be a much broader spectrum of chapters. Uh, there will be supplements for uh, more very, uh, famous chapters. Ultramarines, Imperial Fists, White Scars, Raven Guard mentioned. White Scars will be the first out of the gate. Um, cover has apparently got Sakaris on the front. Uh, expect to see new weapons and squads. Uh, possibly Land Raider Terminus. Bring it in. Uh, a larger form of a Terminator. Oh god. A uh, big kit. Um, is a massive dreadnought that is similar to an oversized contemptor, which could be nice. Um, regarding large terminators, these models are described as being similar in aesthetics to the curving shapes of both the contemptor and tau stealth suits. Bigger than current terminators, but smaller than a dreadnought, so this could just be a varied. Uh, regarding big kit, uh, it's been described as a love child of an existing dreadnought and contemptor, but enormous. It's also been described as a knight, and you've got all the sort of knights. If you've been around Warhammer for years, even longer than I have, you probably know uh, the sort of knight titan, the very smallest smallest titan, uh, imperial titan that you can get. Just as the Elder and Wraith Knight, be something like that, um, and probably be the same price. Uh, and arrive in September, apparently. Pre orders in late August. That's what I've heard. Generally, it's right. Uh, oh no, that's not it. And then uh, we've also heard about Black Templars being released. Um, I need to really hurry up now. Uh, really, round up of this is a fully enclosed Dread Knight sort of size thing, wielding a large crusa uh, Crusader shield and mace, upper body mounted assault cannon. So lots coming out. And Horus Heresy, new tanks, and bits and pieces come up for Adeptus Mechanicus and. Erebus. So, um, please like, comment, rate, and subscribe on this video. And let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Please check out my lizard men. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you're going to enjoy the lizard men just coming out. And I'll catch you in the next one, guys. See ya.